Hi, Joe. Thank you so much for your thoughtful response. I really enjoyed reading about your interpretation of the relationship between Koopman and Rivers. I too analyzed the relationship to one another and I, I feel like I learned quite a bit from reading your interpretation as I definitely struggled to connect this idea of selective interest as well as informational persons with the idea of our own attention and attention theft and just in general how we give our time and energy and essentially our scent when we view these things. Um, so I thought that was really insightful and it was something that I definitely struggled with as I was reading through. So I'm really appreciative that you dug into it and gave me a new perspective. Uh, one thing that I thought of as I was reading your paper as well as the, the works of Rivers and Koopman was how interesting it was for me to consider consent and assent. Previously, I thought consent was just you know, the consent of one person. After reading Rivers, it was, it was especially enlightening, enlightening to consider that assent is the approval and you know, willful, willful approval essentially of an individual versus consent being the willful approval of the society as a whole. Um, and I thought that was really interesting to consider when we also look into the idea of Koopman's informational persons and info power, especially, especially, uh, excuse me, but uh, when we put emphasis on this with the idea of algorithms, I think that's something that can really be helpful. Uh, as we already know, algorithms are not perfect, but when we consider how much faith is put into them and how much power they have over our lives, not just algorithms in general, but any form of data sharing, I think it's important to consider how our society has seemed to consent to it, despite, I don't know about you, but my personal lack of assent. Um, and so I thought that was really, really interesting to consider because I, I really hadn't thought about how the context and the history of the status sharing and of this system in which people can be monitored without their individual knowledge or you know, have their information shared without their explicit consent has been allowed to thrive and develop. And I think that's something that we often don't analyze as deeply as we should. So I really appreciated being able to connect those concepts and to have a better idea of what's going on around me. Um, especially when we consider that both Koopman and Rivers found that the ideas of info power and co consent and assent have contributed to a harmful, a harmful system that can really hurt minorities um, or anyone else who is not from a certain privilege area. So for example, Rivers says it, that this can especially create adverse effects for those living in economic precarity. Um, and then Koopman goes on to describe how, you know, especially for those in the black community, these systems are not created equally and do incorporate bias already. And so I think it's really important that we do consider how it's not just our assent that's important, but changing the consent of our society as a whole. And so I really hope that you also got that from these works because I think that you know your paper was so very enlightening and I think it's so important to take these works and try and apply them to the lives around us and try to potentially improve the system that we have that defines so much of our lives. Um, so anywho, thank you so much for sharing such a wonderful paper. And I really once again appreciate your ideas related to selective interest and um, our assent to informational person, persons. I, I really appreciate it. And I feel like I definitely have a better understanding now that I've read your work. So thank you so much. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you.